welcome to the Visitor T Public Show at NAB 2016. My name is Chris Black, and today I'm going to show you how you can do some incredible storytelling with a mixture of tools within the studio. First, let me tell you a little bit about the tools that we'll be using here today. Just behind me, I have this massive video wall from Layer. This is a 7.2 meter video wall, and we're going to be using this wall to be able to show off virtual graphics, virtual sets, and also some election content that we'll have in the studio. Just in front of me, I have a camera on a Shotoku pedestal, and this is a mechanical tracking system. So as the camera moves around the studio space, we're going to be able to send all that movement information over to our Viz Virtual Studio software. And just above my head, I have a series of cameras. This is an optical tracking system from motion analysis, and this will allow me to interact with the graphics during the presentation. And right over here, our director, Christian, is going to be driving the entire show from our control room. So I did mention that this is a virtual set presentation, but you don't see any blue screen or green screen here behind me. That's because we're going to be using a combination of augmented reality graphics and the video wall to be able to create an entire virtual set presentation. But first, let's start with some basic video wall content. Let's talk about the elections. All right, we have our election graphic in here, and let's bring in some election data. We'll bring in some of the results from the uh, Super Tuesday earlier this year. Here we have some uh, basic data. We've got the, all this content could be updating in real time. If the election was happening, we could break it down state by state. But what I really want to draw your attention to is the monitors just above my head and over here on the other side of the screen. Because what they're doing is they're showing you the real output of what uh, people at home would see. And so let's trigger this animation one more time. And so what we've just done here is done a little bit of augmented reality graphics tied into the video wall graphics. You're going to see a lot more of that coming up here pretty soon. But let's take a look at some other basic augmented reality content that we can have in our studio. Let's add in this graphic that we have of uh, Ted Cruz, where we have some election data in here. We have some results popping in, and we can move that back. Or we can come over to the other side of the studio, where we also have this uh, graphic of uh, Bernie Sanders with some election data that we could push on back. Or or we could come over to our video wall. This is a Christie touchscreen that I can come over here and work with our election night package, which is a one box solution that we can give broadcasters that has all of their data tied into it so they can look at the presidential feed, the Senate, or the, even the House, dive down into a specific state, look at uh, congressional districts, or even go in and do some telestration on the map. The system also ties in with other BizRT tools, such as our social TV solution, so we can add in tweets, have them geo reference and be able to see all that content on the map. Of course, everybody's talking about the elections this year, so let's actually move on just to something else, a little, something a little bit more interesting. How about some football? All right, now, back in our video wall over here, we've added the NFL on Fox uh, graphics package to our wall. And as the camera moves around, look really closely, it's actually moving along with the camera movement. We've taken a virtual studio and placed it into the video wall, basically extending our studio space that direction. And this is essentially what we call the virtual window. So we can do a lot with this. We can add in augmented reality graphics into the video wall. We can take these graphics and just toss them into the studio space so they became AR graphics right here in front of me. Or if we take this away, we can get in really close to the video wall and use that as our backdrop for the virtual studio. So you don't need a green screen or blue screen. You can use this as your backdrop and bring in all of your graphics uh, as part of the virtual set and still have all of the motion that you would normally have in the virtual studio. So we have a uh, Russell Wilson over here. Let's actually take him for a moment and toss him out into the studio floor. We can take the augmented reality graphics out of the video wall, add them to the, the uh, physical studio, and have a nice continuation of the entire virtual studio built straight into the physical studio. And of course, we also have uh, Aaron Rodgers over there, but we can bring in other co content such as the, uh, the Defenders. But this is the Fox Sports graphics package. The, so that means we have to have Cletus out here. Cletus, where are you? Come on out here for us. Here he comes. All right, nice catch, Cletus. Now let's do that one more time. Take a look at the monitors just above my head. We're going to have Cletus do a seamless transition from right here in the video wall and join us right out here in the studio. Come on, Cletus. Very nice. And he catches the football every time. This guy's amazing. But Fox Sports also has the Daytona 500, and every year they're using VizRT graphics to really show off what they can do during the uh, tournament. So let's actually bring in some Daytona 500 graphics here. They use a lot of AR graphics track side, so let's see some of the graphics here. These are some of the graphics that were actually used during this year's uh, race. So we have the Dollar General car here. Let's take this car and throw it out to the studio and see what we can do here. 
fantastic. So now this is a very, very high resolution 3D model of the Dollar General car. We've added in some nice lighting, some shaders, and the director has control over the content of the car so he can twirl it around and change the skin of the car so we can talk about different things such as the different aerodynamics that the cars have. But since we have it immersed here in the studio floor, we can use the camera to make the transition and really push in deep into the uh, details of the car. So it's a nice way of being able to add the 3D graphics into your studio space and take full advantage of the storytelling capability of the physical camera. Now NASCAR is the biggest stadium sport in the United States, but let's actually take a step back, go back in time, and look at an ancient stadium from the Roman area. This is the Roman city of Duga. So what we can do here is we've actually gone in and scanned this entire city as a 3D model. So we have the entire uh, city mapped out here, and we're playing this in real time using the NVIDIA M6000 graphics card on our Viz engine. So if we move forward in time, you can see how we can do a lot of realistic movement. We can bring this statue out here and have some nice photorealism with our graphics. And using the logarithmic shaders that are built into the system, we can really get in there and you can see it has some nice photorealistic look and feel that you can use for any kind of graphic as a augmented reality content or if you go back to your traditional studio, you can have this photorealism within your virtual set content as well. Now here we are in the stadium, but the biggest stadium sport in the world is football and not the American kind, but soccer. So let's bring in some soccer content in here. Fantastic. Here we go. We've got our Champions League logo over here. I think I left my uh, World Cup trophy I won over here. There it is. But actually, can you uh, bring this over for me real quick? I want to show you one other thing. Thank you very much. So what I'm doing now is I have this marker in my hand. I have all these cameras just above my head. This is a motion analysis optical tracking system. And this is going to allow me to interact with the graphics. So I can have something very simple like this marker sitting on your news desk within the studio. And your presenters can grab it, move it around, and really interact with all of the content. Here you go. Thank you, Andre. Well, we're going to bring in a couple other things into the studio. Here I actually have the uh, uh, Manchester United team, some of their star players. Let's bring them out to the studio with you. Michael, come on out here. All right. Uh, Andrew, you come out here and join me too. We'll bring in some of the other players back into the wall behind me. Uh, Dali, come out here. And we'll bring uh, Andreas as well. So as we bring all these players out here, we still have our virtual set extended back into the video wall. And we're using a combination of augmented reality graphics, the virtual studio environment, and giving your presenter all the tools they need to really tell very, very creative stories within the studio. And you have unlimited creative freedom when creating these presentations. And that's the power of working with Viz Virtual Studio. Now, if you have any questions about how all this is done, we'll be happy to answer them for you right after the show. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the day here at NAB 2016.